Hey guys, what is up? Ioki here, and we have got the new kit reveal of the brand new champion, Aphelios, who's going to be dropping on the PvE later tonight. Uh, Riot is dropping not only a champion trailer, but also something called a kit primer. Now, I have not read through any of this, so we're going to be I'm going to be experiencing it with you guys for the first time right now, so let's not waste any time. Okay, so he's mute because of this poison. So, thankfully, he'll be the first ADC to not talk during the game. I wish we could just make all ADCs mute, actually. Oh, he's got the energy sword from Halo. Okay, okay. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> okay. So, he's got like 10 different weapons. Okay. He's kind of cool actually. I'm ge I'm getting vibes from a lot of different franchises. All right, and there's the sister that speaks for him. So guys, let's get right into the kit primer. Now, this is showing casing the different weapons. Most champions can be summarized relatively quickly, but Aphelios isn't most champions. Learning to wield the weapon of the faithful demands discipline, focus, and mental acuity. So consider this primer your first test of faith along the path to mastering a champion with one of the highest skill ceilings in the game. Now guys, remember, this champion is made by Certainly T. He's the guy who, and also the guy who made Kiana. So the guy who made Yasuo and Kiana are coming together to make, oh boy, this is going to be, this is going to be a crazy champion. But really this champion, Page has a ton of info to process. Read it a couple times, probably. Okay. We're going to start with the overall structure of Aphelios' kit and get into what each of his weapons does. So, guns, basic attack, and ammo. Aphelios cycles through five weapons, each with its own basic attacks. He attacks with his main hand weapon, but always carries an offhand weapon he can swap to with W. So, right away, W swaps his, um, his weapon. Aphelios can pick and choose which two weapons he equips at any given time. His weapons have 50 ammo, moonlight each. This is going to get confusing. And when a weapon runs runs empty, you get the next one in line. Empty weapons go to the end of the line to recharge. So here's the main hand. When it's empty, goes to the end of the line to recharge. They each get 50 ammo, so you shoot it 50 times. Since Aphelios can swap between his main hand and offhand, weapon order changes throughout the game based on which weapon you use first. Abilities. Aphelios only has three buttons, Q, W, and R, so he doesn't have an E. Interesting. W swaps between his main and offhand weapons, as we, as we already know, uh, leaving him with two actual abilities. Interesting. So he's going to have the highest skill ceiling with only two abilities. Each of Aphelios' five weapons has its own Q abilities when equipped as his main hand weapon. Each Q applies bonus attacks and effects based on his offhand weapon. I'll read that again. Each of Aphelios' five weapons has his own Q ability when equipped as his main hand weapon. Each Q applies bonus attacks and effects based on his offhand weapon. All five Qs cost mana and ammo in each of his own cooldown. You can Q, switch guns that immediately use the other Q. Aphelios automatically learns Q at level 2, and it slowly becomes stronger over the course of the game. So sort of how Yumi automatically learns her W at level 1. You need your Q, so it gives it to you at level 2. We'll get to what each Q does in the weapon sections below. Aphelios' ultimate, Moonlight Vigil, sends forward a moon bomb that explodes on the first enemy hit, damaging nearby enemies. Then Aphelios follows up with enhanced basic attacks from his main hand weapon against all enemies caught in the explosion. He automatically learns R at level 6, and it automatically levels up at levels 11 and 16. Not really sure what the point of that is, since you're going to get your ultimate at 6, 11, and 16 anyways, but... Level Ups. Since Aphelios automatically learns his Q and R, he puts his 18 level up points into stats rather than abilities. Oh no. Oh, okay. Calibrum, the rifle. Calibrum is a poke her ass weapon. Its basic attacks have extra, da extra range. When abilities deal damage with Calibrum, they mark enemies hit. Aphelios can right click marked enemies anywhere on the map to follow up with the basic attack from his offhand weapon. This attack detonates near other nearby marks for bonus damage against the marked champions. Uh, Calibrum Q, Moonshot. Fire skill shot that damages the first unit hit and marks them. Moonlight Vigil, Calibrum effect. Min Moonlight Vigil, follow-up attack, marks all enemies hit. These marks deal higher damage when consumed. So there's the first weapon. That's the rifle. Severum, the scythe pistol. 
Severum is a sustained weapon that heals Aphelios for a portion of the damage it deals. Overhealing from Severum is converted into a small shield. Severum Q Onslaught. Gain movement speed and fire rapidly your main hand and offhand weapons at the nearest enemy, prioritizing champions. Onslaught shots have like behave like most basic attacks but deal reduced damage. Moonlight Vigil Severum effect. Moonlight Vigil grants Aphelios a flat heal. Okay, so that's so this is the healing. This is the healing uh, weapon. The scythe pistol. You see this? He's gonna heal, guys. Gravitum the cannon. This doesn't look like anything resembling a weapon. I have no idea what this is. Uh, Gravitum is a utility weapon that applies a decaying slow to enemies. Gravitum Q Eclipse. Damage and root all enemies on the map affected by Gravitum slow. Eclipse doesn't use Aphelios' offhand weapon. Moonlight Vigil Gravitum effect. Follow up attack supply and massively increase slow. Infernum, the flamethrower. Okay, so remember this one. This is the... <laughs> why Why do none of these weapons actually look like weapons? This just looks like basic, like, abstract art. Infernum is an AoE wave clear weapon. It deals increased basic at attack and ability damage and creates a damage cone behind enemies hit. Like a flamethrower. Uh, Dusk Wave. Spout a wave of flame, damaging enemies, then back basic attack all enemies hit with your offhand weapon. Moonlight Vigil Infernum Effect. Moonlight Vigil follow-up attacks create create damage circles around enemies hit instead of damage cones behind them. Okay. Crescendum the Chakram. Okay, this actually looks like a weapon. I'm okay with this one. Crescendum is a close-range DPS weapon that behaves like a boomerang. Oh, that's cool. I've always wanted there to be a boomerang champion in the game. Aside from Gnar. Uh, once Aphelios basic attacks with Crescendum, he can't attack again until it returns to him, but his, his attack resets when it does. Attack speed increases Crescendum's travel speed instead. The closer Aphelios is to the target, the less tar distance Crescendum has to travel, and the faster Aphelios can attack. When abilities or their follow-up attacks deal damage with Crescendum, they create temporary copies of it for each enemy hit that increases the strength of Crescendum's basic attack. Crescendum's Q, Sentry. Deploy a turret that shoots the nearby tar target with your offhand weapon. What? Moonlight Vigil Crescendum Effect. If Moonlight hits fewer than three enemies, its follow-up attack still increases the damage Crescendum the basic attack as if, at, as if at least three enemies were hit. Custom HUD. This champion just keeps getting more and more complex. All the stuff above is a lot to take in and a lot to track. Aphelios has a unique HUD to ease this burden. Oh, thanks, Riot. Okay, so right here is our passive. She's. This explains Aphelios' web, web, weapons and level ups. The tooltip is as long as this article. <laughs> At least they're self-aware and they're like, okay, we crammed a lot into this champion. Aphelios' main hand weapon and its remaining ammo. ammo. Okay, so remember, main hand... And this is what your W... No, your W swaps your offhand. Three is your Q. Just your Q. If, if your Q is up, this will... Yeah, okay. So this behaves just like any other uh, ability. Aphelios' offhand weapon and its remaining ammo. If its Q is on cooldown, the icon will also indicate remaining cooldown. The next weapon you'll get once your weapon runs out... Okay, so this is your on-deck weapon. So once this is out of ammo... No, once this is out of ammo, this is on-deck. And then six is your... Or, your R, just like a normal ability. You can see if it's up or not. Wow, guys. Mastering Aphelios' Moonstone Arsenal may prove to be one of the most daunting challenges in all of League. Are you devoted enough for the, your task? You know, I, I'm devoted enough to just ban him out every game. Does that count? Ready yourself. The Weapon of the Faithful arrives during patch 9.24. So he is going to be appearing on the PBE tonight, guys. Stay tuned to this channel to uh, check him out. And um, so my initial thoughts are the design is pretty cool. It is cool to see that like Riot is still kind of like breaking boundaries and like creating, like putting new things into the game. Um, it is pretty wild that uh, there's a brand new champion like so soon after Senna. It feels like Senna just came out. In reality, she came out almost a month ago. Um, but still, like very, very short window of period. So I'm wondering if like the schedules of the champions got like messed up somewhere because they usually don't release them this quickly and uh senna i thought senna was bringing a lot of new new cool stuff to the chan uh to the table but this champion is is just like above and beyond man he's got his own hud he's got five different weapons he's only got two abilities uh we i don't believe we've seen him in uh in game yet so i'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing how bad people are with this champion when he first comes out um, I would recommend banning this champion when he comes out for ranked on your team, so your team doesn't play him. 
But uh, guys, beyond that, uh, let me know what you guys think about the uh, the new champions kit. We just read through, we just watched through the champion trailer and the uh, the kit primer. You know, if a champion ha has a primer, he's got he's got an instruction manual that he's going to be uh, an interesting champion. A lot going on. But uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Take it easy, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.